Your Nutritherapy report packs in a ton of information, and that information is only going to keep growing. So this quick video is an explanation of some basic terms that will help you understand your report a lot better. So let's get to it. First of all, what the heck is DNA? Think of DNA like computer code that programs your cells to make all of the proteins that your body makes. Your body uses proteins for everything. Your hormones are proteins, the receptors for the adrenaline and dopamine in your brain, those are proteins. Proteins control your entire life. And your DNA is the program that tells your cells which proteins to make and when to make them. Just so you can understand your report a little better, I need to show you how that DNA computer code is written. DNA is made up of building blocks called nucleotides. And there are four nucleotides, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine, A, G, C, T. Your DNA is the code for everything your cells do, but it's actually the simplest computer code you'll ever see. The entire coding language is just those four letters, called nucleotides, shuffled around in various combinations. If you remember the movie Gattaca, it was about Ethan Hawke trying to buy Jude Law's DNA because Jude Law was engineered in a lab to have better DNA. And they made the name of the movie Gattaca using only the four letters A, G, C, and T. They were trying to be clever because all of our DNA is made up of only those four letters in various combinations. So remember those four letters, A, G, C, T, adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine. How does DNA use just those four nucleotides to code for thousands of different proteins? The answer is in your protein shake that you probably had when you got up this morning. If you look at your protein shake, what do you see on the label? Well, you see a long list of amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, valine, methionine. There are 20 different amino acids. Proteins are just long chains of amino acids strung together in various combinations. So the way your DNA codes for proteins is by telling your cells which amino acids to stick together in what order. And it does that by using a simple code. It says, okay, I've got four nucleotides to choose from, A, G, C, or T. I'm gonna grab any three of them, so A, G, G, or G, C, T, or A, A, A. Every possible combination of three nucleotides is a code for one of those 20 amino acids. Check out this chart. This says it all. A codon is a set of three nucleotides, A, G, G, or G, C, T, etc. Here's a list of all 64 codons, all the possible combinations of three nucleotides, showing you what amino acid they code for. So this is the code for how to make all the amino acids in your protein shake. It's a super simple code, but if you stick thousands of these amino acids together, you get proteins that are infinitely complicated. So that's how proteins are made, long strings of codons, which means long strings of thousands of amino acids, in any order you need. That's how you can get all of the variety of life on Earth using only those four nucleotides, A, G, C, T. And that's how DNA works. Which brings us to the part we really care about, which is, what's a mutation? So when one of your cells divides, it has to copy all of that DNA into the new cell. And sometimes, as it's making a copy, it screws up and it sticks the wrong nucleotide in one spot. So what does that mean? Well, check this out. You can see there are actually four different codons that make the amino acid valine. There are four different ways to make valine. So if a mistake happens on the last letter of the codon, and my DNA actually swaps that T for a C, it actually makes no difference because GTT and GTC both code for the same amino acid. I'm still making valine. But now look at what happens if the mistake is in the middle nucleotide and I change GTT to GCT. Now suddenly I'm making alanine instead of valine. And if the mistake happens on the first letter and I swap a G for an A, now I'm making isoleucine instead of valine. So you can see that some mutations make a big difference and some don't. If it doesn't change the amino acid, the mutation usually makes no difference. The point of the Nutritherapy Report is to look at the mutations that make a difference in the code and actually affect how we feel. So here's the last point I wanna make. 
I use the word mutation, but often when you look at genetic reports, you'll see a different term used, either variants or SNPs, SNPs. If I have a C in a certain spot in my DNA and you have a T in that same spot, scientists call that variation a single nucleotide polymorphism, or SNP. So when we talk about your SNPs, we are talking about mutations that changed one letter in the codon. Got it? So when you see a genetic report, here's how they'll talk about it. They'll give an ID number to that particular variant called an RSID, which stands for Reference SNP ID. And they'll name the gene, and then they'll say what letter got changed, meaning what nucleotide got changed in that mutation or SNP. So for example, the COMT gene, which controls dopamine levels in your brain, has a well-studied SNP, RS4680, and some people have a G, or guanine, and some people have an A, or adenine, at that location. And because that changes which amino acid is coded for, some people make a valine, and some people make a methionine at that location. So that is often referred to as the COMT valmet SNP. And here's the last point I wanna make. Remember that you get one strand of DNA from your mom and one from your dad. So at that particular location, RS4680, you might have a GG or a GA or an AA. That's your genotype. And you'll see your genotype written sometimes with the letters separated by a semicolon or a forward slash or nothing at all. So now you're ready to start looking at your own genetics. Welcome to the rabbit hole.